Hello everyone, I'm Whitney from Creatively Fit, and this video is to take the fear out of painting and show you how you can do it quickly, because we're all busy, we don't have a lot of time. I just got back from a business meeting, and I've got a ton to do today, I've got an appointment coming in about an hour, emails to answer, proposals to send out, but I've got to stay creatively fit. So I'm going to show you how we can do these paintings quickly, because every time you do it, you're physiologically strengthening your right brain muscle, which is increasing your connection to your intuition, to your subconscious, to the infinite. It's getting you totally present. It's going to calm you down and give you an entirely new perspective. But we're going to do it quickly, right? Okay. So, I got a paper plate out of my kitchen cabinet. We're here in my kitchen. I squeezed a little bit of white and some blue out onto the plate. I put some water in a peanut butter jar that was standing next to the sink. I'm going to mix that together and make it nice and watery. Because the painting, the way I teach it, is it's lots of layers. So this first layer is simply to get rid of the blank canvas. So I'm going to cover this with blue, painting right over the outline. But see how you can still see the outline underneath. So this is the Create Change Paint Kit. This is I call it the Enchanted Forest design. We have another design of woman's face that is inspired by the design principle of unity that you can order at creativelyfit.com. Okay, so this is step one. All right? Now, if you're doing the Creatively Fit marathon and you're going from one mile to the next, sometimes you just do this step over your previous painting before you rush out the door in the morning, but you've got one step in and you're making progress. So right now, once we've got the background, all we're going to do is outline. And I'm going to use red to outline because red and blue mix together to make purple. And since I'm doing this quickly, I'm going to use colors that will mix together. Okay, so I'm just going to get some of this red on my brush and we're going to go through an outline right over the lines that I've got on the canvas. So I've taken the fear of whether or not I'm good at painting out by giving you the outline, and I'm going to show you how the layers build on each other to make a fun painting. And in the meantime, you're going to find that the to-do list in your mind starts melting away that any anxiety or feelings of stress also melt away because physiologically, if you're in your right brain, you can't be stressed. This is rather huge, I think, <laughs> and a big reason why I paint. So it's not about becoming master artists. It's about learning how to become the artist in our own lives and creating the life we want rather than feeling like someone else is creating it for us. Okay, we've got it. It's all outlined. So now, if you have time, again, this is a step where you can put it aside and let it dry. And then maybe when you get home, while the rice is cooking on the stove, you can do another layer. But since we're kind of taking it from the speed painting approach, we're just going to keep going. So now I'm going to put some yellow. So first we did blue, then we did red, and now we're going to do some yellow. So now it's just filling in. It's just like a uh, coloring book, okay? So I'm going to start with this big tree, and since yellow and blue blend together to make green, I'm going to be okay painting right over this wet paint. So again, you could let it dry and come home but most people, when I'm first teaching them how to paint, they're really concerned and um, taking very slow, deliberate steps to make this painting because they're worried about whether or not they're going to do it well. And a huge part of my job teaching people to paint has a lot less to do even with technique than it does with just convincing people that this painting they're painting isn't going to bring them financial independence nor is it going to solve world hunger. So we don't have to take it so seriously. <laughs> and with the marathon, what's so fun is that you paint over each painting as you go. Okay, so now I've painted yellow. Let's paint some yellow in here. 
we always repeat colors. So if we paint yellow one place, we're going to paint it a couple other places. So I painted two trees and two trunks. All right. Now I'm going to mix the yellow and the red together here and make kind of an orange since we've got a little blue. And then I'm going to paint the other trees. Okay, so maybe we're like three minutes in or something. And again, you could stop any of this at any time and come back to it. But you see how quickly we've taken a blank canvas to a non-blank canvas. Now, is this painting going to win any art awards? No. <laughs> Are any of you going to be emailing me saying, Whitney, I really want to buy that painting. I'll give you $500. Probably not. But... More importantly, and what Creatively Fit is all about, is developing this right brain ability, the ability to be present, the ability to tap into your subconscious and your intuition. I just attended a talk by a Vanderbilt professor and author, and he's saying that we have the part of our mind, which I call the right brain and the artist within, he calls it the executive mind. <laughs> course, because he's a Vanderbilt business school teacher, and he says that our executive mind, or our artist within, knows what it is we need to do, but the other side of our brain, which I call the left side, or the ego mind, doesn't always want to do it. <laughs> so the trick is to balance the two, and that's what we're doing here. He has a book coming out called The Executive and the Elephant. So the elephant is the left brain, more or less, according to me, and the executive is the right brain. So now I just mixed some white into the blue, and I'm going to paint this kind of light blue. That's my parakeet chirping. He wants to paint, maybe. Okay, so I am about to have this painting completed with two layers all in one concise five minute video. You can even drop it. The fun part about white is when it's wet like this is the other colors bleed in. So we gotta get up here. Okay, so if you're doing the marathon, this is a mile done. Okay? If you're painting for fun, you put this aside and let it dry, and then you just do the same thing over again. We'll be adding more and more videos to show you how to do this. But again, don't try and make this into a big thing. Don't try and become a master artist. Realize that what you're doing is physiologically balancing the two sides of your brain that are going to help you in every area of your life to create the life you desire. Okay, thanks so much. Get painting.